all right do another video over here all right so a lot of people ask if they install a bigger well tank will it increase the water pressure so the answer to that is no the tank does not create pressure the pump creates pressure and the pressure switch regulates the pressure so what the tank does is regulate the cycle duration and frequency for example with a bigger tank the pump will run less frequently and for a longer period of time and with a smaller tank the pump will run more frequently for a shorter period of time so what is the optimal frequency and duration you might ask well let's first go over a couple of details about a submersible pump so a pump motor creates heat when it runs and even more so when it starts for example an average household pump might run six to eight amps while pumping but then upon startup it can briefly jump up to 20 or 25 amps for a second so all of that amp draw creates heat so what cools a pump motor is the water flowing around it as it gets pumped out of the well so you want to make sure the motor has an adequate amount of water flow past it to sufficiently cool it before it turns off. So the rule of thumb is you want the pump to run for at least one minute per cycle. Meaning if you have a 20 gallon a minute pump, you want the pump to pump at least 20 gallons of water per cycle. Now, this is less critical on smaller pumps like half and three quarter horsepower, but we'll go over that in a minute. So picking out a tank can be a bit confusing, but there's an important thing you need to know, and you need to know the drawdown gallons. So drawdown gallons is different than the tank's capacity. For example, a 20 gallon tank might have a six gallon drawdown and a 30 gallon tank might have a 9 gallon drawdown a 50 gallon tank might have a 20 gallon drawdown and an 80 gallon tank might have a 25 gallon drawdown so you can see that it's important not to confuse capacity with a drawdown and all drawdown means is if the system is resting at 50 psi and you turn on a faucet the number of gallons of water you get out before the system gets to 30 psi that's your drawdown gallons so when sizing a tank you want to match the pump capacity with the tanks drawdown so if you have a 20 gallon a minute pump you want a 20 gallon drawdown tank now getting back to the half horse and three quarters for a half horse pump you can get away with about half of that rule of thumb because they don't get quite as hot when they run and they don't have to run quite as long to cool them and with a three-quarter horse pump you can get away with about three-quarter of that rule of thumb but once you get into the one horsepower or bigger you want to strictly adhere to that rule of thumb so what if you undersize a tank you might ask well you will likely shorten the life of the pump and that's bad so what if you oversize the tank you might ask so if you oversize the tank you won't shorten the life of the pump but you won't necessarily increase the life of the pump either so here's the problem with oversizing a tank they cost a lot more they're much harder to change when they go bad and they take up a lot more space and so you're not going to hurt the pump by oversizing the tank but you're not going to really help it either so under optimal conditions your pump is going to have a finite lifespan so increasing the tank size typically won't extend the, that lifespan enough to make it worth it so there you go so hopefully that was helpful hope you learned something I gotta go adios